if I've learned anything while being on YouTube is that you guys really love Sonic. So, who would have known? Aloha, all you freaks, geeks, and Poconos alike, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Nervado, and I'm a voice actor. I'm making this video as a way to kind of explain what has been going on with my channel. Uh, I've been kind of absent, and I upload very irregularly, but I'm, I'm here to explain that. This video doesn't have a script. I am going purely off of my own thoughts and process like on the spot so if I ramble I apologize but I just want to clear a few things up a uh, short story of it is on TikTok, Twitter you know twitch or YouTube for me that takes a lot of focus and effort and I work as a welder 10 hours a lot of overtime I have family work on top of that I'm trying to push my career on Fiverr so there's a lot of things that have been kind of distracting me and not letting me really focus on it but there's one major problem with uploading on YouTube and I really want to talk about it because I feel like uh, not many people really address the problem with YouTube and no I'm not I'm not talking about YouTube itself YouTube has always been kind of messed up and we all know this what I'm talking about is the fact that 90% of YouTubers are stuck doing the same formula over and over and that's gotten me messed up and I'm not even a big YouTuber I I'm quite small. <laughs> they, it's unbelievably how small I am and I'm still having these issues. Essentially, when I started this channel, I wanted to be a gaming YouTuber. Not because I wanted to play video games all day, it's because I watched Markiplier and Game Grumps and I enjoyed their content so much. I love Smitty and Vanoss and all these guys. I wanted that kind of community. I wanted to be able to have friends and laugh because I was such an ADHD, over the top hyper kid that I annoyed everyone and I usually don't have friends. So I'm like, you know what? I'll make YouTube videos and I'll be crazy and wild and that's where I'll be appreciated. You know what I mean? I didn't chase money or fame i just wanted a sense of community you know just to feel like we're all in this together when we're having fun so my main goal was to make people smile i didn't want to show my face i made this jester like character because what do jesters do they entertain i put a mask on him so you can imagine whatever i was to you like i could be black hispanic white it didn't matter i i wanted you to imagine me as whatever you wanted me to be as your best friend so when i'm playing it's whoever you want it. Like, I, it, you don't need me to be Markiplier. You don't need me to be Jacksepticeye. I'm whoever you want me to be as a friend. All I am here to do is entertain. Well, that's how it started. And then I realized I don't have a lot of money to be spending on video games. I don't have a lot of time to be focusing on editing three hour uh, gaming videos down to 10 to 20 minutes there's no way that I can do it. There's also a lot of downtime in between missions where it's just boring, if I'm being honest. A lot of these games, there's some fun aspects, but there's also a lot of boring stuff. And as a small YouTuber, you really wanna focus on like retention rate. You want people to keep their attention on you at all times. If they feel bored, they quit. So that was my first issue. Then I got into a lot of videos where they kept talking about, well, what about something that stands you out? Like something that makes you different than everyone else. I was like, okay, fine, voice acting. I got into voice acting back in 2017 and ever since then I've taken off from it. So I uploaded some of my impressions, but I noticed a problem even with that. I can't do impression videos if I don't have a camera. Like I don't wanna show my face, but how can I do it if all I'm showing is pictures, no one is going to have retention rate for that kind of stuff. On top of that, impressions are cool and all, but like, it's like a party trick. No one really cares. So I thought to myself, okay, if I can't do that, well, what else can I do? I said, I don't really have a lot of friends to work around. So that's when I started uploading like a VR chat video. I was like, maybe I can do that. I've got a lot of people who hang out with me on VR chat and random friends. I can go around doing voice acting on VR chat. Like I do a lot of anime voices and stuff, right? So what if I did in my impressions while in the characters on VR chat, right? And I found out a lot of the recordings that I was doing were quite terrible. There were people who were acting inappropriate. There was a lot of people spamming and acting ridiculous. The second they found out I was recording, it became a, a troll fest. On top of that, 90% of the people were just sitting around in front of a mirror instead of actually enjoying themselves. Like VR chat became kind of a toxic place. That's why I started hanging out with Mel, my now wife. 
she was kind of my rock and kept me together and the videos that I uploaded with her are because really she's the only one who stuck by me and was really like pushing me to keep making content. I tried making a few videos on Overwatch but mm, that didn't work out too well. Essentially what happened was is that Overwatch although it was fun it, it's repetitive and unless you can find a lot of really content you know moments there's no point. So I upload a few more voice acting clips. I'm surprised the Dark Witch even got 374 views. That that shocked me. Uh, I uploaded Borderlands 3 because that's a game that's new to me and at least I would have fresh reactions, fresh moments. So I'm pretty proud of that one, but of course only got 60 views. I was like, well, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. So I started uploading Fiverr videos just to at least advertise my business and that actually did pretty well i've gotten quite a few orders from those fiverr videos and i'm very proud of that but i can't make an entire youtube channel based off that but i realized there was a major problem right around to uh july 9th 2021 i realized i need to change up my style i can't keep playing these dead-end games that aren't going to get me anywhere i can't keep uploading voice acting videos where I'm not showing my face and not doing anything. So I tried making kind of like a game theory or like a movie theory video from MatPat. I wanted to make one based off of Back to the Future. I love Back to the Future. And I said, you know what? There's, there's something in that movie that feels really wrong that no one ever really thinks about. It'd be really cool if I can like make my own like uh, make my own video explaining how crazy that is, right? I spent days working on that video. I wanted it to be okay. I was like, I don't even have to show my face. This is perfect. No one watched it. It did get copyright, but it was uh, only like copyright as in it can't be monetized. I wanted people to see it. I didn't care if it made money because I don't make money anyway. So I released it. It didn't do good. And that really crippled me because after that, uh, essentially, after that video failed and it didn't do well at all, the next video that I did wasn't uploaded almost a whole year later in 2022. This time I gave up. I decided I'm going to upload a video with my face because essentially I said there's no way to make content if I don't have my face in the video. People don't want to watch a YouTube video of just pictures it's just how it is and instantly that video did better i went on to do a sonic voice impression video that has the least amount of impressions might i add the other two are over 30 and that one only had 21 but yet that one has over 3132 views and 33 comments as well as 203 likes as of recording this little update video Wow, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Thank you, I really appreciate that. I hope people aren't subscribing to me thinking that I'm just gonna make Sonic content though, like, sorry. But then, you know, I, I uploaded a few Twitch highlights. Um, I was like, I was streaming on Twitch. I was like, maybe Twitch is a better format for me with the whole voice impression thing. Maybe people can donate and I can do impressions for them or whatever. And I was going pretty okay, but having to basically, what the problem was having to do Twitch every single night, essentially, after I was getting off work was killing me. I would have to smile even though I was tired. If I tried to stream during the day, that would mess up the schedule that I had going on. Um, because you don't want to stream in two different schedules because then people during the day aren't going to see your night streams and people during the night aren't going to see your day streams. So there are two different sides of the planet that will be watching you and essentially you're going to miss out on a whole market of people. And yeah i streaming was killing me so i started doing tiktok content trying to switch it up to that see like maybe that's where i belong and i keep switching up things over and over then in 2023 this year on J in january i decided i want to go back to that sonic video that sonic video was doing really well so i was like you know what maybe maybe i should just do these impression videos they're doing pretty good i uploaded the crash bandicoot video and it did 271 views and it actually did pretty good i was like okay this is starting to get really good traction so i was like okay let's make that video well 
then the very next one happened. I made a TikTok video. Um, it was multiple things, but only one got uploaded. It was, I got challenged to do a Muda Muda challenge by a YouTuber named Coolin. And he went to my Fiverr and he paid for this video where I just scream at the top of my lungs. Now, normally I can scream no problem, but I just recently did two Fiverr jobs that required me to scream and do a lot of crazy stuff just before that. So I had to do this with a sore throat, which is why at the beginning, when I speak, I don't sound like myself. I like, I sound easy whenever I'm speaking. It's because my voice was destroyed already, but I didn't want to let him down because he paid me good money and it was a YouTuber. So I'm like, hopefully this gets me good views and people will start noticing me more. You know, you got to take risks in order to get ahead. So I was like, okay, let me do this. I screamed that Muda Muda challenge as loud as I could and belted it and really put my heart into it. Normally I would have been fine. Just drink some honey and tea and recover. I wasn't, I got hit hard and I'm pretty sure I screwed up my voice pretty badly. I was worried I wasn't going to get my voice back. I didn't know if I got like laryngitis or something. I don't know. I had my throat messed up for about three months straight and it killed me. Um, I didn't even start feeling better to start recording until last month in May. My voice finally started recovering around in May, right around my birthday, May 7th. And I took a short vacation. I went down to Miami to visit my, my family and I tried to recuperate and I started realizing I have not uploaded anything to TikTok or YouTube or anything because I am so damaged. And my plan was to try to upload once to twice a month. That was my plan. That didn't work out too well. And one of the major issues that I was facing is what kind of content would I even upload it? Even if I could, I started having a lot of doubts about myself when I was sitting in my bedroom and my wife would tell me, you should record, you should record. I told her what, what should I record another impression video? How long do I do that before I run out of things to impersonate? You know, my voice can only do certain characters. So what happens if next video that I do, like I was planning on doing a Batman impression video at some point, I said, yeah, sure. Let me do a Batman impression. You know, there's cause I can already somewhat do a Joker. Sure. Okay, fine. But what happens then the next video after that, I do another one and some of the voices are going to sound like ones I've already done already. So it's it's not really as entertaining when you're just hearing a dude do some party tricks. I was like, I need content that feels like something I can push forward to and advance. If it doesn't evolve, then there's no point in me doing it. I wanted to plan ahead because so many YouTubers get burnout by doing the same content over and over. I, I tried to look up other channels to figure out what they're doing just so I can try to emulate them. And I started realizing there's a major problem on YouTube and this is kind of what I was hinting at at the beginning of the video. YouTube forces its content into a box, essentially. Um, YouTube makes you kind of do the same thing over and over or else your channel dies. What I mean by this is essentially if you're someone who doesn't have like camera skills, right? If you're someone who doesn't really have acting skills, you can't do a lot of like, you know, TikTok skits or whatever. If you're not good at dancing or any of that, what are you going to do with the camera? Reactionary commentary news channels. That's usually what it is. It boils down to those three. Some channels even sound exactly the same. I once, and this is no hate to the channels because I, I genuinely say that these guys make good content and I'm not going to say anything, but I hate to say this, but RK Outpost and Josiah Rises essentially make the exact same content. They're great guys, but if you look at their thumbnails, they're exactly the same. They even use the same kind of fonts and everything. If you look at their content, the way they talk is almost exactly the same and it's not their fault. I don't think I don't know them personally, so maybe it's just coincidence. But I've just noticed that YouTube tends to have the same kind of format. If you want to talk about something, 
you you make these videos that are quick you find an article online and you just comment about them and i'm like that's not it doesn't feel like something i would want to do i don't want to just talk about news or updates or whatever and i don't want to clickbait title people i don't want to you know make it so like disney's panicking again they're panicking they're doubling down again i don't want to do that stuff like that doesn't feel right to me so i'm like okay well what can i do with voice acting well unfortunately i have a lot of ideas but it requires money or friends and i don't have either of those so I have to put that on the back burner. Gaming, don't have money, so I can't buy a lot of games and do that kind of stuff. Live streaming, that would take years, and there's no there's no clear path to success on that line. So I had to really take a step back and look at my own content and think about what it is that I'm actually doing. And then it hit me. There is a there is a channel that actually makes me smile in the dumbest way possible and i'm pretty sure 90 percent of you know who he is it's charlie from moist critical aka penguin zero i'll be honest his channel is fascinating because he doesn't care about almost anything his thumbnails are stretched and warped in just a screenshot from the video his content is him just sitting back chilling just talking like this he does almost practically one take. He may do an edit here or there, but majority of the time he's just talking and chilling with an audience. He has some of the most loyal fan base ever. He's grown and made like companies and you know sponsorship deals and all this stuff. He's got his own esports. Like the dude is insane and he does not care. He talks about whatever he wants. He does whatever he wants. And most of the time he's living in the moment. And I was like, that is fascinating to me that he, yes, he's an exception. You should never follow the exception. You should usually follow the rule, like follow the algorithm and do what you want. But I thought about it. I was like, my whole channel was supposed to be about entertainment, meaning anime, movies, video games, comic books, you know, anything, TV shows, anything possible that involves entertainment. I wanted to do except if it's like gossip and stuff i don't want to get into politics i don't want to get into religion or anything that's controversial like that i may talk about something that might annoy me or frustrate me every now and then but i didn't want to make my channel like political so how am i supposed to make a, like the content that i want but also following some kind of algorithm. It doesn't really work because the algorithm is against you. If I make an anime video, I get subscribers who want to see anime stuff, but then I make a gaming video and people will unsubscribe because it's not what they wanted. So I've come to the conclusion and I'm sorry about ranting. I'm not very good at recording these kind of videos. Usually I try to like script them out or something, but I don't want my content to feel fake anymore. I've gotten to the point where I just don't care. I want to make the videos that I want to make. I just want to upload whatever comes to my mind. I don't care anymore. If I want to make gaming videos, I will. If I want to make anime videos, I will. If I want to make videos talking about the comic books industry and how amazing that Ripperverse, a new comic book independent company, has made $1 million within three days of going up on its own kickstarting journey, like, I want to do that. I want to talk about the world around us, like, and just enjoy what I do and not worry about the algorithm. So this is me basically saying my channel is going to be going through a lot of changes. I'm going to be trying to upload about once to twice a month and then slowly increasing that over time. I want to make it maybe once a week, maybe twice a week, but right now, because I have ADHD and I procrastinate way too f much, I essentially want to change it so I have at least some wiggle room. Once to twice a month. That is my goal right now. If I can at least do that, I will get the motivation to start making more and more content. Right now, I have a few videos in the works. I want to do another uh, theory video. Uh, I have like two or three of them that I'm working on. I want to start uploading more TikTok videos. I have a few anime 
uh, videos I want to make some they're not just gonna be commentary videos they're kind of like retrospectives uh, things to think about and uh, opinions that look at anime in a different light so that way people can look at them and be like that's fascinating and interesting I don't want to make just content that just says look at this thing isn't it cool and then say like and subscribe I don't want to do that so just to you know in the next few months if you bear with me I promise you I'll have a lot more on this channel I just I just want to let everyone know that I am well aware of my channel not being the most prime focus. I just don't want to be boxed in anymore. I feel like I feel like I've spent months, almost years looking down this. Like I started back in 2019 and now we're in 2023 and I don't even have over like 30, 40 videos. I I don't even have 100 videos up. That's insane. I should have way more and I'm going to once again thank you for watching this video I'm sorry if I took a while to explain what was on my mind I tend to ramble and I even have talking points because I'm so afraid of like going off course I, I said it before I have ADHD and it's very hard for me to focus sometimes so even this is a struggle but I'm I'm really dedicated to trying to make this channel better and this is the first step so um, I want to make one last final announcement. My channel just hit 103 subscribers. It was teetering between 99 to 100 subscribers for quite a while. And I was watching it from my studio app on my phone several times. And I didn't want to make an announcement yet until it went officially over 100. But it is officially past 100 subscribers. And I want to thank you guys because that means a lot to me. To most people, they get that just by uploading any video. But to me, that means a lot to me because when I was homeless living in my car watching Game Grumps, that's all I ever wanted was to try to upload YouTube videos and make people happy. And now I finally can say that I've gotten over 100 subscribers. I've got 100 people who seem to like my content and want to see more. And I don't want to let you guys down. So once again, for a third time, thank you for watching this video. And I appreciate everything you guys do to love and support i won't ask you to subscribe like or any of that you guys do whatever you feel like you want to do as long as you're happy that's all i can ask for so thank you and i'll see you guys in the next video bye